22-year-old Chris Wilson is not afraid to use social networking and dating apps in order to get it on. So oftentimes when we hear about apps like Grindr, we usually think of young individuals using it for hookups. Well, this 82-year-old man says, Nah, I came out in my 70s and I like using Grindr to meet up with guys and have a good time. He's from Montreal and has been meeting other guys on online dating sites for seven years. And he currently has four friends with benefits. That's amazing. I know. All right. So um, he frequents sites like Grindr, Adam for Adam, and Squirrel. Word, which I'd never heard of. He says when he first joined Grindr, people were offensive asking him what he was doing on the site. But later on, he said that they just kind of got used to it and he didn't really have that much trouble finding people that he'd have a good time with. Um, so let me give you an example of one of the exchanges he had on one of these apps. So the guy says, you get much action as an old man in your 80s. As a not out guy, it dipped after 40, action and other. Um, so he says, as much action as I can handle, and I do tend to be picky. I see fair play. What do you go for, Christopher? And he likes oral and bottom, and the guy says, that sounds really nice, always liked older men, and then he sends him a pic. Yeah. So he says ageism is an issue at times, but he's using these apps for, for his advantage. And I actually admire this guy, not only because he's an older guy who's looking to have a little fun and he's not afraid or ashamed, I love the fact that he has gone out of his way to learn the technology and mm. meet people this way. Mm. Consider the fact that he came out when he was in his 70s. Yeah. So he lived a life inside a closet where he wasn't able to express who he really was. I love that he's now living life to the fullest and he's meeting people. This is great in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Karama, what do you think? Make your point. I, see, I have a different perspective because one of my biggest fears as a gay uh -huh. man is being 70 and in the club or on Grindr. And so, <laughs> so for me, but I why? hear what you, well, because aging in the gay community is such a harsh thing. First of all, a lot of um, elderly LGBT people have or commit suicide because they're lonely. Wow. And so just about, as, not as much, but as the teens do, you know, you have these older individuals who are lonely and they're sad. And so for me, when I'm in the club and I see an older guy, I feel so sad because you're in the club at 70 yeah. and I don't want to be in a club at 70 and I don't want to be on an app. But hearing what you just said, I was like, oh, this is positive. This is great. He yeah. learned technology. He's still putting himself out there. But my initial reaction is that this just broke my heart. I don't want yeah. to see a seven-year-old guy. I want us to take care of our seniors in a better way, and especially our LGBT, our gay seniors, and give them outlets where they can meet other seniors or meet people who are who date older men. Yes. But not on a Grinder app because yeah. I know what goes on on Grinder, and I yeah. feel sorry for him being on Grinder. He seems to be having a good time though. He <laughs> says he doesn't even need Viagra or Cialis. He's getting it in. Like he's he's really? it, that's what he says. And the the other thing that I want to add is Look, I'm very judgmental about apps like Tinder. When I was single, I was on Tinder and I know what goes on there yeah. and I hate it. But mm -hmm. I have three friends right now that are in serious monogamous relationships with people they met through Tinder. <laughs> so you never know. You never know where you're going to find the love of your life. Yeah. Matha, make your point. I love the disgust on your face, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, I'm a complete novice to all these apps, so I can't even really speak to knowing what goes on behind the doors. I thought that the most interesting part of this article was something that you mentioned, Karama, was the ageism and the ageism tied to not just the app but the gay community and hearing more about the suicide rates. It, that just made me really sad and actually happier with the, the viewpoint that you raised, yeah. mm -hmm. um, Anna, that like that this guy's out there and he's being honest. He's not yeah. trying to post a picture of himself from like way back in the day in Montreal kicking yeah. it yeah. with his, his homies. <laughs> Um, and I mean, like, come on, he's doing his oral and bottom. Like, what would you be opposed to that? Right? I mean, he's probably might not even be able to bite you. And so, and also, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Some people like to get that was great. I love that. Oh my god. Sorry. Um, also, just I, I forget what I was going to say. That was such a great comment. Just, all right, so here's the question for the story: How important is growing old with someone to you, Karamo? Oh, a hundred percent important. Mm -hmm. um, and not to sound you know, but if I was single when I was starting getting in my 50s or 60s, I might settle. Mm -hmm. Like, and I, for just someone to grow old with, because I see um, my grandparents' friends who are single and how lonely they are. Yeah. And how they're going home and like, my grandparents make me go over there to spend some time with them because, you know, they're lonely and I just am like, I'm not doing that. It's so important to grow old for me. Yeah, yep. I just. Matha? 
You know, I go back and forth with this. I'm somebody who loves being by myself. And so the idea of being exposed to somebody for like more than three days <laughs> is difficult for me. I've never yeah. lived with another person. Um, and so projecting like living into my senior years with somebody is hard, but I do have somebody who is an aunt that never boot up with anybody, and she is a really wicked, vile human, and um, I wonder uh. if she un unleashes that on people just because she's just projecting her own loneliness mm -hmm. and despair with life on everybody else. Yeah. But I, I, I love like the sentimentalness attached to the idea of somebody who is like the archiver of your stories yeah. and knows you so well, like knows you, the first thing you do is brush your teeth and that your coffee is waiting one day for you, you know? like. That's what lights me up with joy. That's yeah, beautiful. but I haven't lived that experience, so I don't know if if that's really me. I was always kind of unsure about all that. Like I was kind of against marriage a few years ago. I was like, I don't know if I want to get married. I don't know if I ever want to have kids. My mom would tell me you're going to end up lonely. And then it wasn't until recently where I'm actually with someone that I'm crazy about where. I feel like I want to grow old with this person and I want to have him in my life and I want to know what it's like to go through different phases of my life with him. So I think it really just depends on who you're with. And I remember, you know, in past relationships when I wasn't really with the right person, the thought of spending my entire life with them scared the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. And now that fear has really gone away. Yeah. So it really kind of depends on who you're with, at least for me. Yeah. All right, well, I want to hear from you guys. How important is it for you to grow old with someone? Comment in the section below. We'd love to hear your stories, and we'll see you soon.